Well guys, Mr. Steve back, and I have some good news, and I have some bad news. Good news is, moving forward, in Blender 5.0, you're going to have the ability to store larger than two gigabytes of data in Blender 5. Now, the problem with that is we're gonna have a 100% complete break of any files below 4.5. Now, I know everybody doesn't read the code or know it or even understand it or probably don't need to, but you do need to know what the code does, why it was introduced to Blender 5.0, and how it fits into the overall blend file parse logic. In other words, what is it going to mean for you opening blend files in the future? Now, let's get past the boring part. Blender 5 introduced a large buffer support so that individual data blocks in the .blend file can now exceed 2 gigabytes. This is a big deal. For example, meshes with hundreds of millions of vertices. Now this is just 26 million vertices on one object, just to kind of simulate. Now imagine you've got thousands and thousands of objects in a big scene. Normally, you wouldn't be able to save it without doing special modifications, decimates, and other things. To make this work, the on-disk file header, or the b-head, which we spoke about, and each block header had to grow to accommodate 64-bit links and counts. That makes everything completely break under Blender 5, some compatibility with Blender 4.5. And the on-disk format jumped from 24 bytes per block header up to 32 to accommodate the 64-bit length counts, thereby removing the 2 gigabyte block now size limit. Now there is a possibility that Blender will split these into two heads. That way, there's compatibility for the smaller blocks and the larger blocks to load. But this is not probably how it's going to end up. What we're probably going to end up with is the new formats, writing blocks, newer versus legacy format toggle for a period of time. And you're going to be able to go back and forth. And I'll show you that in Blender 5 in just a quick moment. And be able to convert these larger to the smaller ones is possible by branching down, saving in 4.5, and then reopening in an earlier than 4.5 version, but that would be kind of a headache. It's probably going to be better just to go ahead and do the upgrade and the update. Now, I will admit, I did get a little sidetracked with my Voronoi pattern maker here with the split edge feature. Super fun, but go ahead over to your edit preferences. And once you're there, let's go to interface and make sure you have developer extras on. Experimental, and you can do the right legacy on file here. This is gonna be a cool option for a little while. I do not believe this is gonna last long because Blender is trying to do an streamline industry standard changeover for a lot of the formatting and how Blender handles things. And just so you guys know, you can go to the system and switch the back end now from OpenGL to Vulkan. Now, I really appreciate you guys watching. You can show a little love on the likes and the subscription if you found any value here. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I might actually even share this file out once it's done on the Patreon. I hope you guys learned a little something and I appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see y'all in the next tutorial.